right, y'all, here's our Thanksgiving dinner. We're going to have turkey breast. I've just got four thick slices of turkey breast. I've got a bag of the instant mashed potatoes, and I'll have a breakdown of everything, how much it costs in the bottom. It's under $20. And I've even got a dessert. I'm going to make a banana pudding, so I've got the bananas, the vanilla wafers. I've already mixed up my pudding, and I'm going to go ahead and assemble the vanilla pudding so or the banana pudding so it can be in the refrigerator while we're making everything else i got some turkey gravy mix got a can of green beans a can of cream of chicken that's going to go in our green bean casserole chicken flavored stuffing some crescent rolls will be our rolls for tonight and or for our thanksgiving dinner and there's the box i got a family size of of the vanilla pudding. So this is what we're gonna have. It's gonna take no time at all. So you can have a quick, easy, and effortless Thanksgiving dinner in, un in under $20 for at least two people, maybe even four. So I'm gonna go ahead and start assembling the vanilla, the banana, I keep saying vanilla pudding, the banana pudding. All right, I'm gonna start with the vanilla pudding. I'm gonna put a couple spoons full in the bottom. My bananas. I'm gonna take my wafers. Doing this until we use up all the pudding. I had to skimp on the banana a little bit because because Jackson is gonna want his banana sandwich tomorrow after lunch, and I gotta give it to him. So I'm leaving one banana out for him. So I've just got three bananas in here, but it's still gonna be really good. So I'm gonna put this in the fridge and let it get cold, and we'll go to the next thing for our cheap and easy Thanksgiving dinner. All right, next thing we're gonna be making is a green bean casserole. And you can pick up a can of cut green beans at Walmart for 50 cents. So I added that to the menu, but I am gonna substitute my home canned green beans just because I need to use this up. So I'm gonna use my own canned beans that I grew in my garden, that I canned myself, and I'm gonna use those in the green bean casserole. So I'm gonna add one can of, I'll probably just add half of this can because I don't think, I'm not gonna make a lot because it's just us two. And that will give us one serving plus some for tomorrow for dinner. So I'm gonna save the other can, the other half of it for another, for another recipe. We've got the French fried onions. I'm not really going off a recipe because it's the same thing, you know, everybody makes it the same way. So I'm gonna add some in here now. And then I'll add the rest over the top. I'm gonna mix that together. I'm gonna add a splash of milk. Stir that together. In the Campbell's recipe, add soy sauce. So I'm just gonna add a dash of soy sauce. I'm also gonna add some onion powder and some pepper. And stir that. Around. That looks good. I will have the recipe linked down below. Right, I've got a small pan here. I'm going to spray it with nonstick cooking spray. Then I'm going to add the green bean casserole. I'm going to sprinkle the rest of the onions on top. This is gonna take the longest out of everything and it's gonna be in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes until everything gets hot and bubbly. And you could also, if you like cheese on it, add cheese. If you wanted to fry up some more onions and put it in there too, that would be good. All right, I'll put it in the oven at 350 for about 30 minutes until it gets nice and bubbly. I've got one and a fourth cup of water in here and a half a stick of butter. Brought it up to boiling, so I'm just gonna add that bag of stuffing mix. Stir it around with a fork. You could always, if you had some 
chicken broth, use that instead and make this a lot more flavorful. But I'm just going to stick with the package. I don't think that was quite enough. So I took some of my water from my potatoes I might add back. And I think that's good now. So I'm going to take it off the heat, put a lid on it, and it'll be done. Okay, my water is boiling for my potatoes. I don't usually do it, but it's Thanksgiving. So I'm going to add some butter, and I'm not factoring in the price of butter, salt, and pepper, things like that, that you've probably got on hand. And you can always use margarine or whatever you have. You don't even have to add that to it, but I'm going to. I'm just going to add the package of potatoes. Stir it around with a fork. I'm going to take it off the heat and let it sit. And now everything's almost done, so I'm going to go ahead and put my rolls in. I'm only using four of these. I think I'll use that cream of chicken soup and some leftover turkey and make some different things, make another recipe with that. So I'm going to use four crescent rolls, and I'm putting those in the oven now. So now I'm going to start on the gravy, putting the turkey gravy mix in the pan first. That's what it says to do. I usually don't make gravy from a packet, but but if you want a quick and easy and cheap Thanksgiving dinner, this is the way to go. And I'm going to put one cup of cold water in the gravy mix and stir it together and then I'm going to turn the, turn the heat on and cook that until it's hot and bubbly. Instead of just doing the turkey the regular way and pouring some gravy over it, I'm going to make these roll-ups. And I did one just because, because last year the turkey that I got was just way too thin and it wouldn't work. But this works. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I do it. I've got that thick sliced turkey. And I'm just going to add some stuffing to the one side. And I'm just going to roll it up. Make sure you have thick sliced turkey because I used a thinner kind the last time and it just did not work. So just roll it up and pour the gravy over the top. So I'm just going to make two more and stick them in the oven just to heat up and we'll have dinner. Y'all, dinner is ready. I cannot wait to eat. I love Thanksgiving dinner. I can't believe I made this in under an hour and for only $20. All right, y'all. How good does that look? I cannot wait to eat this. And this hot gravy poured on my potatoes and on my dressing. Oh, my goodness, y'all. Could life get any better? I don't think so. Well, maybe with some banana pudding, some nanner pudding. Mm. Y'all, this is so good. All right, I cleaned my plate, and now it's time for some dessert. I cannot believe how good this meal was. This whole meal was so delicious. And it cost less than $20, and it was on, on the table in less than an hour. So I would recommend doing this if you don't have a whole lot of money to spend and you want a delicious Thanksgiving dinner. So I hope y'all enjoyed the video, and I hope y'all will have a blessed Thanksgiving, and I will see y'all in the next video.